This is the 2016 Ford Figo. It has a few revisions for this year. Check out the new family nose on the front there. That grille is more reminiscent of the Aston type of uh, face that Fords currently have. It's actually quite handsome. It's a grown up looking little thing, isn't it? But it's still a small car, still made in India and still very, very affordable. They start with a 1.2 liter engine for just, believe it or not, 38,950 dirhams brand new car that one comes with a manual gearbox the next step up from that is a 1.5 liter engine with 105 brake horsepower that's what I have under the bonnet of this one that car is the ambient trim and it comes for 43,950 dirhams but this one of course I have the press car which is the top of the range one but even that's only 49,000 500 dirhams this one is called the trend and it drives the front wheel through a six-speed automatic very well equipped as you can see it's got 14 inch alloy wheels on it body colored bumpers and wing mirrors it's got abs and esp plus hill start assist uh, i don't know if that's on this car or the manual one it would make more sense on the manual one and it has things like uh, the front airbags it has a side impact protection beam and it has rear fog lamps so actually very well equipped let's take a, a look at the boot and the rear space before we take it for a little drive now you can open the boot from the key fob click that twice and it unlocks and then you just lift up the tailgate there you go fairly decent uh, rear amount of space in this car for a small little hatchback and handy hooks on each side that side and the other side there is a spare wheel under this uh, cover here you get this uh, tonneau cover for the luggage compartment and the rear seat falls down as one piece to give you a little bit of extra room for those occasional visits to ikea just put that back there you go and here we are so again just over six foot one six foot two tall and this seat is set for me but actually take a look at this i mean yes they've put these very clever scoops into the seats which have given me that essential extra bit of room to make this uh, comfortable bearable for me but actually it's not too bad at all headroom isn't too bad i can just feel it brushing the back of my hair here but it's not too unreasonable it'd be a bit tight for three people in here um, even though they have a lap belt for the third person three point seat belts for the passenger on either side the only trouble i'm having is this headrest just digging into my back but you can actually put that up like so and suddenly that's a much more comfortable seating position and you know what actually you know for two people in here two reasonable sized adults it's actually not very bad at all and there's an ashtray put an ashtray which you can remove and two cup holders which you could use back here as well so not bad i think it's time to get in the front though here we go so uh let's put my seat belt on first and uh, i'll just put the mic on there so you can hear me okay it's all very clean and straightforward and you might say spartan in here but you say that you shouldn't because actually it's quite decently equipped now just starting with the instrument panel here which i hope you can see clearly now very clear very bright very straightforward but over here on the store can you see that there's a little button there see i just pushed that in when i pushed that in i got external temperature on this car and uh trip meter uh, range gives me the range which is very economical of course as you can see and uh, all that sort of stuff so that's quite handy over here very nicely done quite a modern and refined sophisticated looking layout here uh, no screen but we do have Bluetooth and we have a USB here and uh, this is a CD player radio menu it's got menu you can go into it you can change stuff all of that sort of thing if you think okay one usb player no actually you have another U can you just make it out can you just about make it out i don't know if you can but there is another usb in there and an ux in there you can also leave your phone or or your ipod device in there i like these little vents that's quite nice for a car like this uh, pretty reasonable glove box there door pockets as you can see pretty deep pretty uh, massive with a cup uh, or, glass, or bottle holder uh, uh, arrangement in there but practicality is a key with this thing they know that people drive around in it they throw things in it they need to use it as their daily cars and so there you have a tray right there and that's good enough to fit a phone on that tray right there there's a power supply there so that's quite handy 
and there's your AC control and down there look at this there's a whole arrangement of little boxes and cup holders and all this sort of stuff so like loads and loads of room to put things which is always very important in a car that you're just using as a daily and you need to get around town in over here you've got the light switches and of course you've got the remote boot release and of course the fog light switches too so let's just take it for uh, a very brief drive I mean this it's not a sports car, let's be honest. It's not a muscle car. This is an ordinary car, 1.5. We we'll move off into traffic. But you know, it's got a sports mode on the transmission. Six speed transmission. So let's go into sports. It takes a while, it takes a while. The gearbox takes a while to pick it up. It's one of those cars where you feel, if it had a manual gearbox, it would be even more fun. And I say even more, quite a valid statement because actually it is fun. I have actually been enjoying this car quite a lot. It's one of those things where you get in a little car and yes it has electric, it has electric power steering on this car. So it's maybe not as much feel as you might hope for from the steering. But having said that, it is such a small car, you are driving it by the seat of your pants, you know, you can pretty much feel everything that the car is doing. You know, as you can see, normal understeer, front wheel drive little car, but you know, not that much understeer, not terminal understeer, and enough grip and enough poise to get it into the corner. You can pick up a decent speed in here, you know, you can cruise along at 120, uh, 140, no problem at all. And uh, I think perhaps uh, maybe another uh, 10 or 20 higher than that it could probably do. Um, you know, kick down, takes a little bit of while for the gearbox to pick up, but once it's going, once the momentum is there, it's absolutely fantastic. I said the steering feel was lucky, but the steering response, the steering weighting, I think is very good for a car like this. You know, it is light, it is very easy to drive because that's the sort of car it is and that's who it's meant to be for, people that want an easy life behind the steering wheel. But at the same time, there's decent feel there, decent weighting there. Now brakes, I've just used the brakes there, as you can see, good, linear. I mean, it's got front disc and rear drum brakes on this car but they do the job you know quite linear quite progressive enough bite and uh, you know again braking for this corner here turn in good poise good turn in good holding its position nice bit of grip you know and just lift off to tuck it in a little bit so quite playful quite fun I have to say it's one of those cars that maybe not so much out here this is maybe more uh, territory for something more powerful but around town you know it's one of those cars that you just really really enjoy chucking about you can just get in it you can dart about town in it it's small enough you can slice through the gaps you can park it anywhere you don't have to worry too much about it you don't have to be precious about it it's comfortable it's practical it's spacious got room in the boot room in the back you know I gotta say and for the money Really, what have you got to complain about? I think if you're looking for motoring on a budget, you got about 40, 45,000 dirhams. Go and have a look at one of these. Definitely worth having uh, a, a gander at. And uh, yeah, Ford Figo. Get your Indian takeaway. <laughs> Lou, let me know what you think of the Ford Figo. Leave your comments on this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe and tell all your friends. You can also follow us on motoringme.com and of course, all the social media. Just search for Motoring Middle East on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We are everywhere and do check us out, do follow us. And we are also on Gear One TV, Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. and Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Till the next one, thanks for watching. Sound check for video review on the Ford Figo. This is a line could be from a movie or a TV show. Where is this line from? Well, of course I'm being childish. There's no point in being grown up if you can't be childish sometimes.